Recently, when it comes to LeBron James and the 2020 NBA Championship, people have been talking and it hasn't been good. We've seen many in both the mainstream media and on social media come to the same conclusion. That because both the Clippers and Bucks were bounced from the playoffs earlier than they should have been, LeBron has now been gifted a championship this year, this ring has been handed to him. Well, I am here to tell you that that is absolutely ridiculous. So what's up guys, Mike here, and today we are going to dispel the myth that LeBron has been handed a championship this year because this narrative has to go away. As you are about to see, a lot of people have hated on LeBron's run to the finals this year, which is weird because those same people were claiming that this was about to be a very difficult finals to win or that the Clippers would win the championship just a few months ago. Before we get into that though, I do want to say, please hit the like button right now. It helps out a ton with YouTube's algorithm and you guys have been awesome with likes lately. Thank you so much for that. Also, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. I promise the next video I have coming up is a great one. You're not going to want to miss it. And with that said, speaking of great ones, okay, that was kind of lame, whatever. LeBron is of course one of the all-time NBA greats. And depending who you ask, some consider him to be the greatest player of all time. However, throughout his career so far, people have certainly found a way to nitpick LeBron's incredible success. For instance, we've heard the argument that LeBron has always always been in the NBA Finals because of how easy the East has been, but now that he's in the West and he's in the NBA Finals, no one is really giving him credit for that. Moving on, again, I am not comparing Michael Jordan and LeBron, I am not doing it, that is not the point of this video. What I will say though is that when other people compare Jordan and LeBron, people love to point out that Mike never played in a Game 7 of the Finals and that LeBron has had trouble closing out teams in the playoffs. I say this because for some reason, it appears that after a season where LeBron LeBron has crushed every team he has faced and won every series in five games so far, people have changed their way of thinking and have gone from saying, wow, LeBron can't close out a playoff series quickly, he always takes unnecessary losses, to LeBron has had an easy path to the title this year because he's won every series in five games. Obviously, that means the teams he has played are just not that good. This is a classic example of changing the narrative, and when it comes to LeBron this season, that has been happening a lot as you certainly are going to see in this video. And the thing is here, aside from the media just wanting something to talk about, I don't understand why this is happening at all. The simple facts are that LeBron is 35 years old and is still the best player in the NBA. Meanwhile, the Lakers, aside from Anthony Davis, certainly do not have an overpowered team. We could get more into that. We could talk about the fact that teams such as the Clippers had more overall talent and depth on their roster, but that is not the point of this video. Yes, this is not the most talented roster that LeBron has played on, but what I want to focus on here is the actual path. I want to look at the teams that LeBron has played in the playoffs this season and discuss why nothing was easy here. LeBron was just dominant. So first up on LeBron's path to a championship this season was of course the Portland Trailblazers. Now headed into this series, a lot of people believe that a red-hot Damian Lillard was going to be a problem for the Lakers. Damian just averaged 51.3 points per game in the final three games of the bubble, so people thought the Lakers were simply not going to be able to stop him. And the evidence of this is right here. Let's listen to what some of the experts had to say about LeBron and the Lakers before this series began, and let's remember what those same people have been saying after the fact. Only team that I could see possibly getting a game is because they got a guy that can get hot and go for 50 60 and that's Dane. That's the Blazers. The Lakers should be worried and they should be scared because who the heck gonna guard Dane? I know I'm gonna sound crazy when I say this. Well, the Trailblazers are gonna win the series. They're going to sweep the Lakers. Sweep! Oh, stop <laughs> it. I'm telling you. So yes, as you can see, a lot of people believed in the Blazers here and after the Blazers won game one of this series, things got even worse. Sweep! <laughs> he said it's a sweep! Uh -oh. He said it's a sweep! Uh -oh. He said if the Blazers won game uh -oh. one, they would go on to sweep the Blazers. Lakers. <laughs> Los Angeles would proceed to win the next four games, and LeBron would finish this series averaging a triple-double with 27.4 points, 10.2 rebounds, and 10.2 assists per game. Remember, this was against a Blazers team that was supposed to be one of the most dangerous eight seeds of all time. Hey, that's not even the broom. If you break that one, Shaq, you, yeah, I tell you, man, that's not even the cheap broom. That oh! oh! 
Continuing on, we have the Houston Rockets, a team that people said had a shot to beat the Lakers because of their potential to get hot and have huge three-point shooting games, and oh yeah, they also had two former MVPs as their starting guards. Here's what the media had to say about the Rockets during the regular season up until before the second round began. Who's the biggest threat to these LA teams? It's the Houston Rockets. I want the Lakers and the Clippers and all LA Conference Finals. Guess what is threatening to mess this up? I think the Rockets are special. They are the most threatening team, I think, to the LA team. Skip, they can shoot you out of the gym. So again, the Rockets were supposed to be this dangerous team. And again, after a game one loss, people went crazy and said that this was going to be a series where LeBron could potentially choke and damage his legacy. He didn't. LeBron instead decimated the Rockets as the Lakers won in five games with LeBron averaging 25.8 points, 10.4 rebounds, and 7.4 assists. Which brings us to the Western Conference Finals, the Denver Nuggets. And I am excited for this part because of these clips about the loss Angeles Clippers. Which team in LA is the better bunch? I have a hard time picking against the Clippers. Who do you think is going to win the West this year? Clippers. Clippers or Lakers? Clippers. I think it's the Clippers championship to lose this year. The Clippers are the best team in basketball. The Clippers are loaded. I believe in my friend Doc Rivers. I have reservations about LeBron being a closer in his 17th year. Yes, many, many, many people believe that the Los Angeles Clippers were going to win the championship this season, but they didn't even reach the Western Conference Finals. They lost to the Denver Nuggets, despite the fact that every single one of ESPN's experts predicted that the Clippers would win this series. And for some reason, Reason, this has hurt LeBron. Why? I don't know. The Lakers and LeBron took care of business throughout the Western Conference playoffs. They beat the teams they were supposed to, which should only be a positive thing for LeBron. The fact that the Clippers lost before they got to the Lakers means that LeBron did his job and proved that he has the experience, he has the ability to rise up when the games matter the most, and the Clippers do not. The Nuggets did have this ability, however, and would you look at that? LeBron beat them in five games, averaged almost a triple-double again, and closed out the Western Conference Finals with an absurd 38-point, 16-rebound, 10-assist performance. He annihilated the team that beat the team that was supposed to beat him. He should earn some major points here. And I don't want to hear that the Nuggets were tired and that the Lakers were rested. That was supposed to be the narrative for the Clippers versus the Nuggets, as the Nuggets went to seven games against the Jazz and looked absolutely gassed in that Game 7. Only Denver was able to rebound from this and still beat the Los Angeles Clippers. As for for the Lakers, again, utter annihilation. Which means, when it comes down to it here, it is LeBron who again took care of business when he needed to at the age of 35. It is LeBron who has proven to still be the best player in the world while leading his team to the NBA Finals. It is LeBron who did not have an easy path in the playoffs this season. He had a dominant one. Let's not get this twisted here. Let's make it simple. People doubted LeBron this season as we have seen. People thought the Lakers had a chance to lose as early as the first round of the playoffs. Instead, LeBron has led his team to three straight five-game series victories, and because of this, because he has been so good while teams like the Clippers and Bucks failed to meet expectations, now people are saying this was an easy run to the NBA Finals. That is not how it works. You play the team that is in front of you, and when you dominate them the way that LeBron has, we should do nothing more than celebrate LeBron's greatness, because that has been what LeBron has been this postseason. Truly great. And I cannot wait to see if this greatness carries over into the NBA Finals. I cannot wait to see if LeBron is able to close this out and have one of the most dominant playoff runs we have ever seen. And so there we have it, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. And again, make sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. I'm promising you the next video that I'm uploading is going to be awesome. With that said, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day, guys, and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued. Here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. Make sure to click on one of them. Again, I know you're going to love it. And other than that, have a great day and peace.